Howdy ho guys and gals, Jeff King here, back again in the Den of Tools, and today we're talking about all the great things that you want to buy at Harbor Freight this December, especially this weekend, because it's 30% off all items under $10, everyone gets that, but if you're inside track, and you are, right, then you get the 30% off everything under 20 bucks, and that is some serious savings but let's jump into the store so first thing we got here right when you walk in the store they got generators on generators on generators they know winners around the corner big savings right now is on the 6500 watt generator this year open frames gonna be a little louder but you're hardly gonna find a better you know power for the dollar there than one of the open frames but if you if quiet is what you want this is the tried and true 3500 super quiet inverter generator clean power super quiet 850 good price on that one we got some stuff here from hallmaster but the real savings is on the 800 pound capacity full-size truck rack for 290. now that said some states have regulations on truck racks it's weird i don't know why the government needs to regulate my truck rack but they, they do it so make just double check before you put one of those on your truck we got to walk through the cordless tool there. Uh, we got all the new Hercules stuff. Uh, we got, of course, look at batteries in stock. They've been missing for a long time. Lots of the uh, the other stuff in there. All new. We, Hercules is really coming out with lots of new stuff here. The new brushless will be coming out around the corner. Hopefully, speaking of brushless, we're over here looking at Bauer. And what do we got right there? Yep, that's the new Bauer Impact brushless driver there. So that's new. And we're gonna, we just saw a whole bunch, another release of Bauer Impact wrenches in brushless. They're not on store shelves at my store yet maybe at yours now this is on sale though the 20 volt cordless handless or handheld airless sprayer handless air sprayer anyway i haven't had a chance to try this if you have if you've got it let me know if you want to be a guinea pig go ahead and get it let me know what you think about it i'd love to hear your feedback on that because it looks intriguing i have to say all right, we got all sorts of other great stuff. Uh, table saws, I gotta talk about this. I just watched another YouTuber and he was talking about don't buy the Hercules table saw and he pointed to in store the old one. Now, the only thing I can imagine, he's using old footage because the new one clearly has the gear mechanism just like the DeWalt and a bunch of others. All right, and here we got to sale the disgruntled teenager. <laughs> it's like, dad. Anyway, you know how it is. Oh, the Warrior Bits. You know, not the top of the line bits, but great, you know, everyday. Think of it as like an everyday driver kind of thing. Speaking of drivers, this is an anemic one. I'm not a huge fan of it. If you are, let me know. But I was not thrilled about the 12 volt uh, Warrior stuff. The regular Warrior stuff, not bad, bang for the buck wise, but the 12 volt just didn't cut it for me. This, however, this is a must have for every shop. You need to have a corded variable speed hammer drill because there's all sorts of jobs. And you know what? Corded, it just makes sense, especially in a shop. You know, if you're on a job site, I get it having the, the cordless stuff. But if you're in a shop, go corded for a lot of your solutions there. They're inexpensive and they just work. And they really, you know, they really do the job too. Now this thing, this is their new drywall sander. And I gotta tell you, this probably makes doing drywall way easier, but I wanna have nothing to do with it. I hate doing drywall. I, I get a little triggered by just the thought of that much dust. Anyway, let's bring back old memories. Here's a sale item for you. The Warrior 7 Amp Variable Speed Belt Sander. Great little belt sander there for 30 bucks. Uh, just be careful with it. Remember, belt sanders, they take off a lot of material pretty quick. You can always take more off. You can't put more back on. Lots of great polishers. We saw a whole bunch of new stuff coming out. There's going to be new ones in Hercules coming out. Uh, heat guns there. I've got the cordless Bauer heat gun. Um, it's not bad. It, it's I mean, cordless. This is something I want to talk about. The 900-pound multi-purpose scaffold. You know, I was thinking to myself, I don't really need much of a scaffold, but I saw somebody using one of these as a portable workbench. I've seen them using it as more uh, portable shelving. They put boards across it, turned it into a portable, a rolling shelf kind of sis, uh, system there. Now, when you talk about Harbor Freight, we'll get back to the, the grinders there. But pry bars, man, they got some great deals on pry bars, just even when they're not on sale compared to some of the other ones out there. Look at the size of this chunker here. This thing, it's like a nine iron, but heavier. <laughs> little home defense kind of thing there. This is a nice little deal there. I might I have to grab one of these. There, there's always some, you know what they're great for? Like working with cabinets and just edging them up a little bit while somebody else nails them in or something. Um, then we got the new Icon uh, dead blow hammers there. Snap on feeling the uh, Harbor Freight breathing down their neck there with the uh, the new dead blow, all the new icon stuff. Now here we got a hammer. If you're looking for an S-Wing kind of knockoff here, if you don't want to spend S-Wing kind of money, and I, I mean, I like to support S-Wing. I'm a fanboy of S-Wing, 
But for people on a budget, nine dollars or ten bucks, really, I can understand it. You know what I haven't tried? I haven't tried any of the tool bags. You know, I'm not on the job these days. It's been a long time, so I'm not really big on the whole tool bags. If you have tried the, the new Bauer stuff, I'd like to hear your feedback on that. But let's talk grinders, because Harbor Freight's got the grinders. Now, recently, somebody kind of went a little bonkers talking about, oh, my God, Harbor Freight raised the price on the grinder just so they could drop it. There's two grinders, folks. There's two of these Warrior grinders. A lot of people don't realize they always see the 4.3 and they think that's the only cheap grinder that Harbor Freight has, but they now have the five amp grinder as well. And that's the one on sale. They didn't raise the 4.3 price and then drop it to back to the regular price. This is not to say that they haven't done that before, but that's not what's going on here. That's the five amp one that's on sale. Nice, you know, for 15 bucks, that's a nice grinder. I know they look very similar. They're not exactly the same, but they've got a huge selection of grinders. They get the Warrior, we got the Bauer, and then we got the Hercules. That's their good, better, best, you know, the Goldilocks zone. Here's a great deal. Look at this, 13 amp, and this will do four and a half to six inch trigger grip angle grinder there wasn't eight, $90, was it $69, $70 now? But we got some even bigger ones. Look at these two down there. We got the 15 amp there in Bauer on sale for 80 bucks. Just put my hand there so you can see it for perspective. This is a big boy here. And of course, then we got the Hercules if you want to go the professional grade route. I have heard lots of great things about these grinders. One thing I, I am interested in this one, but one thing I'm not especially a fan of is this. Now, maybe you are, but I got to say, this is one of the most anemic little rotary tools ever. But you know what? It's not a, it's not for removing a lot of material. It's more of, uh, you know, etching kind of stuff. And maybe at that, it's great. If I'm wrong, put it down in the comments and tell me I'm wrong in them. But I honestly was not thrilled with it. Uh, we got all sorts of new grinding discs and stuff like that. Of course, here we got the Bauer stuff. Bauer batteries are in stock. I'm just comment, commenting on that because for so long, they've been out of stock. Look at this. They got the Chicago Electric uh, miter saw, 10 inch uh, sliding miter saw. That's still in stock. Now, this is interesting. This is the 10 inch sliding miter saw, dual compound miter saw from Bauer on clearance. Now, why is it on a clearance? I don't know. Is it going away? Maybe the, a lot of times they go, they decide to go with a different manufacturer. So what they do is they'll clear out the stuff they have in stock. And then once they get rid of that skew, they'll bring in the new. So say, it'll look exactly the same. It'll just be a different company building it for them. Icon wrenches. You got to love the icon wrenches. They are really, as I said, they're killing it with these things. The stubby, ratcheting flex head stubbies. They got all the options here for you. Again, Snap-on's got to be wondering what they're going to do here. The, and the Quinn, the new Quinn ratcheting ones, these are, I can't wait for these to go on sale. I want to see what the sale price is going to be on these because they're, you know, a, a good middle-of-the-road Goldilocks zone kind of kind of wrench there. Ratcheting wrench, that's good to have. Of course, we're back over at Icon, but you know what? The number one thing I, I say over here you got to get, and that's this. That is the Pittsburgh, I don't know if it's Pittsburgh Pro or just Pittsburgh, but it's the big Pittsburgh breaker bar. This thing is fantastic, and for the price, it's ridiculous. Talking about breaker bars, I don't know. I was always kind of iffy on extending breaker bars, but I've heard they're pretty good. Uh, and then, of course, the, uh, the we got the Pittsburgh Quick Drive Release Extension Set there, four-piece for 20 bucks. That's a must-have. Uh, great little uh, set there for extensions. Then, of course, we have some of the Pittsburgh ratchets up here. These things are fantastic for the money. There's a, Some of them not so great, but some of them, I like the extending one. That's one of my favorites. We're looking at we've got the Bauer bag on sale, but even better, we got the Voyager 15-inch tool bag with 14 pockets. I use those things all the time for so much stuff. We got the tarp on sale. Love that silver tarp. But Merlin, all right, I'm going to be doing a comparison. I've got the original, the uh, the Chicago pneumatic thing or Central pneumatics. I hate, the, the, they're, they're so iffy. So I'm going to grab what the Merlin one here. We'll do a comparison on those. All right, let's jump over and talk about impacts because Icon here really expanding the kind of impact stuff that they have. They recently sent me the, the latest impact. I haven't had a chance to test it. I'll try to get to it soon. But, you know, if it's like anything else I've seen from them, it's going to be top notch. But if you're just getting started, man, the Pittsburgh, look at a half inch deep impact for 20 bucks. Yeah, there's some skips in it. But if you're just getting started, that's a decent set to pick up. It won't do you wrong. You know, lifetime warranty on all of that. We got the Warrior Resip sale on, or saw on sale for 25 That does sometimes go down to 20 uh, Clamps here, the Pittsburgh clamp, not a bad. I mean, the Bremens are fantastic. 
for that Pittsburgh for five bucks. And then we've got the plier set. I got the arrow going the wrong way. It's in the upper right, not the lower right. $15, it's a decent starter set. It isn't, but the Doyles, my gosh. The Doyle pliers just rock. And look at how many of these are under $20. That means all these ones under $20, you're going to get 30% off of those. All right, we also have the Icon Precision Snap Ring Pliers, eight-piece set. I've got the Quinn where you change the tips on it. Maybe it's time for me to jump up, get the full Icon set so I don't have to bother with those. Look at this. We got, I, I, How I haven't seen these before. We got the Pittsburgh looking like the, uh, the South Wires there. I don't know. Maybe they came out of the same factory. It kind of looks like it. This is something I somehow have missed, and it's the Doyle small uh, bolt cutters there, wire cutters, 8-inch. Those look pretty snazzy there. I might have to grab a, some of those. Bremen clamps. If you're talking about clamps, you look parallel clamps, hand clamps, any kind of clamps here. If it's in Bremen, it's for the. it's got to be like one of the best bang for the bucks out there, especially when it's on sale, and especially if it's, oh, look, under 20 bucks. That's 30% off if you're inside track. Hey, look, the Hercules for $30. Wow, what a great deal. Not $30. They got Somebody moved it to the wrong spot. But anyway, this is my first time actually getting to take a look at it. It looks good. It feels solid. I like everything I see about it. Haven't had a chance to try it. I've had two people give me feedback on it. We'll see. We got drills. The 10-inch drill press is on sale, but we're looking at the 17-inch. That's the one I have. It needs a bit of restoration. It sat in storage for a while. Got a little bit of surface rust on it. Need to clean it up. But these things, for the money, again, you can't touch them, especially when they're on sale. They go on sale uh, fairly, eh, probably once a quarter kind of thing. The the vices, the new vices, I just got it. I haven't gotten the new hitch vice yet, but I've got that one right there. And I just used it last night to straighten out some metal for it. Boy, the thing is so nice, so tight, easy to use. And, and boy, it's got some heft to it. That's another pickup I got to get when it goes on sale there to add to there to the drill press once I get it up and running in the new shop. Oh, we got to talk about lights, Braun. They've got so many lights. I picked up a four pack of the linkable lights. We're going to be doing a comparison on linkable lights, uh, but they got a lot of other stuff. As far as what's on sale in the Braun, we got a whole bunch. We got the uh, under hood light for 30 bucks. We got the headlamp for $19. We got the pocket light there for five bucks and the magnetic uh, pocket light work light there for five dollars that's a great one i love that light i use that all the time uh, the magnetic feature on it really just it always comes in handy here all right we're back talking about generators i've got that one i've got that one uh that the the 3500 i have on i actually gave to uh friends of ours they're traveling with it we're getting feedback from them as they use it they're down in yuma right now hey rick kelly how you doing hoping you have a merry christmas down there anyway Again, Predator, they've just really established themselves over the years. They're the go-to you see. Probably half the generators I see in RV sites anymore are Harbor Freight generators. Of course, the motors, we know all about those. Somebody asked if there's a Bauer or Hercules grease gun in the cordless variety, and there are. We have both of those. Shop Vacs. I've been using this. So I've got this one. Been using it down at the new shop. The wife got ticked at me once it back at the house. So I got my eyes on this one here. Might pick it up and take it down to the shop. Uh, gun safes. I recently found out, I don't know if you knew this, but Texas, I don't know if any other states do it, tax-free on uh, on gun safes, any kind of gun safety devices. That's their new little uh, gun cabinet there for $190. Oh, we got to talk about Jack's. Uh, this is the one I saw at the show at SEMA. Love that paint job. Look at that metal flake in there. That is beautiful. You know, the Daytona Jack's just absolutely rocking it. There's the new low-profile aluminum pro racing jack. This is the regular red one. You see, it doesn't quite have the same luster. But, you know, if you don't want to spend that kind of money, they got the three-ton rapid pump on sale for $120. And let's be honest, for most people, that will do the job for you. But if you want to step up to the three-ton uh, uh, Daytona, now I have the low-profile long-reach. This is the basic three-ton, $150 in, in today's money. That is not a bad deal. Of course, you got four colors available on that one. So if you want to go that route, you can do that. Again, the two I was showing, though, those are the Super Duty. They're going to be a step up from that. They also have the Icon Creeper on sale for $109.99. This is going to be great for that kind of, if you do a lot of the off-road stuff, if you got a lot of air hoses, cracks in your in your floor and that kind of stuff, go with that. The six-ton heavy-duty jack stands for $70. Bucks. Remember, they've updated their jacks. They now have the extra, they have double locking mechanisms on, so they're extra safe and everything. 
for 70 bucks for a pair of uh, six tons together, okay? That's a great way to go. The hydraulic lifting cart. Again, if you don't have one of these, why don't you have one? They're fan freaking tastic. Don't break your back. Get one of these unloading from the truck, offloading. Use it as a work table. They're great. Daytona, we got the three ton jacks here. Again, look at that, 40, $45. We got five colors on that. Again, they've got the new key that goes in there, the little triangular key lock. So you have the double lock on them. They're upgraded. They're ultra safe. Three ton, uh, again, for the pair there. So let's see what else we got. Well, this is their clearance section. We can see all sorts of fun stuff. We got an earthquake there. Still wouldn't buy that, you know, even with the battery, not that price. The, uh, this right here, though, if you can get the manager to do a deal on that, that is a screaming deal. I have tons of woodworkers who have that sander in their shop. Now we're going to jump over and look at some off-road stuff. We've got the Badlands Jack, or not Jack, but the winch there. 2,500 power, 2,500 uh, pound ATV, UTV winch for $80. They got a lot of other stuff. You can see some of, those, some of the shelves here are a little bare, but the high-end stuff, the Apex stuff, that's all in stock. You got to like that. They got some, man, they've been killing it with these winches. Now, some of the other sales stuff you want to consider, we got the Zurich OBD2 code reader. Nice, basic code reader there for $45. Just, you know, a DIY level kind of code reader. We've got the Viking uh, 2815 amp microprocessor controller battery charger, $60. I have it. It's decent. But, man, I haven't touched it since I got that topped on. MIG 215 Industrial Welder from Vulcan, 12240 for 830 That thing is a beast. I know a lot of pros who actually use that. Uh, we got the titanium there for, this is like the, the Goldilocks top of the line for the DIYers there. Stick 225 inverter welder with electric holder, uh, electrode holder, holder for 280 Or the basic Easy Flex, that's the hot glue gun. Just the just a dead simple easy welder there for 170 if you're looking to get started something to consider auto darkening helmets i can't say it enough if you're going to get into welding get an auto darkening helmet this is a great budget solution there for 48 dollars but if you want something nice the vulcan arc safe now granted i didn't buy it harbor freight sent it to me but uh, you know i there i wouldn't give it up there's just no way for 140 dollars that, that's a great deal nice big opening on it easy to see Air compressors, we got the pancake air compressor. You're doing nail gun kind of stuff. 110, that's really what that's designed for. Don't use get it for other stuff. If you want a shop compressor, I got a few options for you. We got the 20 gallon, uh, was it 135 PSI for $200. And then we can jump up to this one, which is the 21 gallon, and it's oil free. I know for a long time I wouldn't do oil free, but man, the tech has really come about. And these are pretty nice. They're 21 gallon for 270. And then the Fortress. This is the one I've got in my shop. This thing is a ultra, just a beast. 26 gallon, $350 ultra quiet vertical shop compressor. Of course, you want to have some air hoses to go with that. The Merlin air hoses. I got to tell you, everything I picked up from Merlin, I've been thrilled with. $30 on a premium rubber hose. But you know what? You got to get the hose reel. Keep it neat. I like to bolt these right next to the garage door so I can have them go into the shop and then it swings out so I can pull it out in the driveway and use it on the cars and stuff like that. If you're looking for some air tools, we got the Ultra Compact Stubby here for 80 bucks. That is not a, that's kind of a prosumer borderline, you know, I'll probably value pro level. Uh, the Earthquake, again, probably in that prosumer to value pro level at $120. That's a nice solid DIY, uh, I actually said prosumer uh, impact. Chief, man, they've been rocking it with the Chief tools. And here we've got the composite air angle die grinder here for $50. That's a nice pickup. Uh, we got nail guns here, banks. You know, they're the kind of the middle of the road now for the stuff. They're not the Pierce, but they're not the Central or whatever, pneumatics. Great air guns for $70. Apache, I cannot say enough about the Apache cases. I know they're, they're a Pelican copy, but you know what? Oh my gosh, they're just as good. I, I've looked at the Pelican stuff. I've had Pelican stuff. I, when I went to buy another one, I looked at Pelican. I looked at the price. I looked at the Apache. The Apache just rocks it. And uh, also, oh, TV mounts. We were talking about TV mounts before. This is a good budget mount. Lightweight. I, this is for something pretty light. Maybe like a computer monitor, small TV. This one, 37 to 70. You're like, well, you know, I don't, we'll take a 70-inch TV. Today's TVs, I don't know if you picked one up. They're incredibly light. They're not like the old TVs. 
microfiber cloths. Yeah, they used to be free, but now they're a buck. They're still a great buy at a buck. You know you need a pack of those. This thing, I, I have this, I've used it for years. Ultrasonic cleaner, and as you see, that's what I use it for, and they understand that. Kudos to Harbor Freight for uh, being honest about what people are gonna use this for. This right here for $35, just light your money on fire. Just light it on fire. Everyone I know who's had one of these, it dies within months. They're trash. Anyway, that's all the sale we got for you. I uh, hope, hope you liked our new format. Let me know what you think about it down below. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.